Well, the heat, the humidity not going any way. Again, September always still hot and humid here in New Orleans. We don't think of fall till maybe the middle part of October, so we have a good about a month, month and a half until that happens. But right now, though, not too bad this morning. It's warm 78 degrees, feels like the 80s. Again, typical morning for us here, but nice and sunny for us. If you have to be out and about, the kids going to school this morning, the weather is going to cooperate. 73, our cool spot there in Hammond with Bogalusa and Slidell at 74. Home with a Galliano at 75 and 80s down along the coastline, but check out in the east at lakefront there 85 degrees. It's pretty warm out there this morning. Looking ahead throughout the day, we're looking at 90s returning by lunchtime and continuing through the afternoon. A little bit of an easterly wind around, say, 5 to 10 miles per hour, so it doesn't look too bad out there. But we'll get to about 93 degrees on the north shore, 94 across the south shore up toward the Baton Rouge area, and around 91, 92 away from the city. Definitely a hot day today, going to be another dry one, but still very humid. So the heat index still is going to be close to 105 on the south shore, about 102 north of the lake. So if you're going to be outdoors today, don't forget that sunscreen. Again, the water as well too. keep yourself very hydrated. You may grab a snowball or two. Yeah, again, the high of 94 heat index 105. Perfect weather for snowballs or ice cream or anything for that matter. So grab one of those this afternoon or maybe for dessert after dinner tonight or for lunch even as well. Right now, just a couple of clouds coming on into the area. It's been dry here all week long, which is good. We've had a lot of rain recently. High pressure over the area, keeping us dry again today. The rain you see here over eastern Texas kind of raining itself out, but it did produce some flash flooding issues once again, and this will continue to be producing some rain off to our north with this front here. Now this high is going to move off to the east of us, allowing that front to move in this weekend. Don't get excited. It's not going to do much for weather other than giving us a slight chance for some rain. So that high going back over toward Bermuda where it normally is parked. Another high pressure here over the west coast. That's the one that's been keeping it so dry and helping to spark off those forest fires. Now we are looking at a little weakness between the two that allows that little front to sneak on in this weekend, but it's not going to push through. So no cool down with it. Now next week as the high kind of still sits here off the eastern seaboard. You see this. This is called a trough for dipping the jet stream. A river winds aloft in the atmosphere. This low is going to form here, and this is what's going to help to bring a cold front closer to the area. Question is, is it going to pass through? We are expecting cool than normal temperatures for the midsection of the country that do get their way down to New Orleans, uh, but this may only be a couple degrees cooler out there. It looked a little more significant earlier this week. Not so certain this front's going to make it all the way through the area by a week from today. So leading up to it, we'll see that rain increasing this weekend with the first front 20 to 30%, 40% chance by Tuesday. So as we go out head on into this afternoon, again, maybe a few rogue showers, but most of you will stay dry tomorrow. Same thing as the front comes in. There's some rain to the north and then as it kind of pushes its way to the south as the day goes on, clears out by overnight into Sunday. And then Sunday looks like a beautiful day as the front kind of washes out over the area. So for Labor Day 94 tomorrow, 93 Sunday, 92 degrees on Monday. Again, 20 to 30% chance for rain. Not looking too bad. Heading out to the beaches today, Mississippi 90 degrees Bay St. Louis, Gulfport 93, 87 Dolphin Island. Then you head over toward Alabama and into Florida 91, 93, 92 looking pretty good out there. The beaches this afternoon with a lot of sunshine. Now as we headed to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday with that second front moving in, our chance of rain increases to 60% and temperatures there in the upper 80s.